Watch your folks and welcome to Daz Rebel Rides. In this episode, what I'm going to do is uh, do a honest, long time review of the Indian Chief Vintage. Now this is a 2014 model. I've had it from brand new and I absolutely love it. You might have already seen my video that uh, says 10 things I hate about my Indian and it's a bit of a bit of a mick take, you know, uh, can't find anything wrong with it because it is a fantastic motorcycle but that's not the whole truth and there are a few niggles, okay, and they're not massive but there are some niggles that you may need to know because it may influence uh, if you decide to uh, go ahead and make a purchase or not. But before I get to those, first of all let me tell you about all the things that I really do love about it and I mean as a package in general I think it's a fantastic motorcycle. Of course it's not a, a, a do everything motorcycle, it's, it's not a sports motorcycle, it's not something you're going to hoon around the track, it's not something you're going to particularly take off roading although I have tried that, take a look at this. So, it can do things, but uh, obviously it's not, not meant to do that sort of thing. Now, I do like the aesthetic of it. It's not for everybody, because I do understand everybody's got different ideas about what they like, about what they don't like. For me, it's a beautiful motorcycle. I, I, I love it. I think the engine is an absolute work of art. I mean, the Thunderstroke engine is, is such a well-made engine. It's, it's such a creamy engine as well to actually use. It's got a lot of punch. It's got a lot of... A lot of torque, a lot of grunt to it, but it's delivered in quite a smooth manner, which I do like. But to look at, it is, it, 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 it needs to be an art gallery, really. That's where it needs to be. It needs to be in an art gallery. So I think we'll take a stop here um, and just admire the bike. take a look at this I mean aesthetically I don't like it as much with the screen on but it's absolutely Baltic today so that's why the screens on it because uh, otherwise I'll freeze my nuts off but usually without the screen I think it is one of the most beautiful bikes in the world I do have the pillion kit for it but uh, I think it looks better with it off and as I don't carry a pillion very often there's no real point Right, some things you may need to know now. I mean, these white walls, they are troublesome sometimes to keep clean, as are the rims, because they're spoke rims and you've got that big valance fender. Sometimes, uh, most of the time, it's actually really difficult to, uh, to keep them clean. Also, the rear wheel there, you'll see there's some staining on the rear wheel, and that comes off the belt drive, and that is something that's almost impossible to avoid. But I mean, the stage one kit with those fish pipes, I mean, look at those. I absolutely love them. They're gorgeous. And this is the belly of the beast. This is its, its pounding heart, its, its uh, throbbing guts. I absolutely love that engine. Such a smooth, creamy power delivery. It's, it's beautiful. And to keep with the classic looks as well, what I've done is I've 
along with the stage one pipes I've got the stage one classic looking air filter now what I like about this and the thing that Indian do with their design is both sides of the bike they spend time on I mean look at that that is that's a thing of beauty hello see me in there hello that is gorgeous and the detailing on that primary there now I know you can get primary covers but I actually really like the stock primary cover I think it looks chunky I think it's it's tastefully done does need a bit of a uh, polish when we get back though these uh, these autumn roads do kick up some dirt right let's put the camera away okay another thing you you need to know if you're buying this as a touring option is these aren't waterproof and they're not lockable they're quick release and they do come off easy um, I'm sure you've seen this if you're interested a million times from loads of other moat bloggers but you've got two catches there they just flick up both sides and then the whole thing just wiggles off ignore these wires these are things that I've installed uh, so I can actually have some power to some devices in there I don't know about you guys but I do like a ride out on a nice crisp autumn day well autumn it's almost winter now I mean we're careering towards the end of November now so what else do you need to know well not a great deal apart from this screen now this screen is okay it, uh, it certainly keeps the chill off on a day like today but you do get some buffeting when you go uh, about 60 mile an hour it starts to rattle you start to get some turbulence around the side of your head what I am thinking of doing is actually going for an aftermarket uh, clockworks screen which uses the, uh, the original hardware um, but is, is supposed to be a, a better screen and now what I do want is something a lot shorter because I don't particularly like looking through a screen um, I like things just to take the edge off I don't need to be cocooned I like to still feel open in the elements when I'm riding a motorcycle a lot of people are different and you might be you might like uh, being cocooned in which case I would recommend going for one of the Batwing fairing models rather than a, than a vintage uh, or a Springfield but what I would like to do is have one of those ultra uber short clockwork screens with a little bit of a lip at the top that should just just lift the worst of the cold air off now I've not got the first hand experience of one of these so if if you have and you own one of these I'd really like to know um, how you're getting on with it because I am really thinking of uh, making a purchase there's a bit of fluff on that cable I've got going on there again that's just something I've added for a little bit of power so I can power devices when I when I put them uh, onto there right well that's pretty much my review guys I mean I love the sound of the engine I love the quality of the chrome the paintwork the paintwork could be a little thicker it's certainly the the gloss on the top and uh, after after what is it now four years of um, nearly four years of owning the bike um, I am thinking that once I've paid it off and I've saved up a little bit of money I am thinking about having a bit of a paint job and keeping with black but just having a, a very slight fleck in it just to hide some of the, the surface scratches that you get with gloss paint one last thing that I'm not too keen on is this fuel gauge it looks cool um, but that light where it is you often can't see it because it's not bright enough and it's not angled up at you enough to be fair though not that you really want to if, if the reserve light comes on you can see you can see it's low anyway when the, when the uh, the dials there plus up on the screen here you do get a low fuel warning light so it's not a biggie it's just a little one but aside from that I think that's pretty much it the cruise control system is is magnificent I really enjoy using that to save my hand on longer journeys but if there's anything you want to know about this bike let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to answer your questions if you like the video give it a thumbs up and remember as always if you like to ride be sure to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye.